Um, on my no buy for February. Um, That's totally making my video, by the way. So I wanted to kind of show you the things that I purchased in February. Um, I to share with you the items that I picked up in the month of February that technically I shouldn't have, but I will say this: compared to last month, I didn't spend nearly as much. So that's good and B it was all from the drugstore which is even better and C did I say C already? I don't know if I did C everything was um, on sale or marked down or I got at a discount so technically should that even count? I don't know but I'm being accountable for my actions and I'm gonna share them with you anyway like all at one time. I don't want you guys to think like I ran out and went cray. No, this is like picking up things here and there as I saw them. Items I want to talk to you about um, are the Maybelline Master Glaze. I got the shade Coral Sheen and the shade Pink Fever. Since the trend in spring um, is definitely orange, but um, that fresh face, like glowy, youthful look, um, I wanted to try some cream products because I don't have any cream, cream blushes. So I thought I would pick these up because I've heard amazing things about them. Emerald Sheen, it's exactly like that, a very beautiful coral color. And then this is Pink Fever, which it's a very bright pink. Now, when you see the swatches, you're probably like, whoa, baby, no. But when you sheer them out with the, I use a stippling brush, they're just beautiful and they give that very radiant, healthy glow to the cheeks so they're going to be perfect in the spring and the summer. I've already been trying them out now. Um, so keeping with the cream blush theme, I got two of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blushes. I got the shade Peach Satin. Just a very nice peachy tone. These are very um, sheer in comparison to the Master. I got the shade Pink Frosting. Here it is there. Again, very, very sheer. So I, I've tried them all and I quite like them. I will say this, I do prefer the Master Glaze over the Dream Bouncy, but the Dream Bouncy are nice. I just find that um, it takes a little bit to build the coverage. So if you're looking for like something quick and easy, I would opt for the Master Glaze instead of the Dream Bouncy because these do, if you like a more vibrant cheek like I do, it does take some work to achieve a more vibrant cheek. With the cheek theme, I did pick up one of the Maybelline, the Master Highlight. This is in the shade Pink Rose. Here's what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it already. It's, these are going around a ton on YouTube. And I was on the fence about this, quite frankly, and I told myself that I could pass them up because I hadn't... Normally when something's like hit or miss, I normally stray away from it just because I usually fall in the category of the misses more than the hits, so I usually just pass. But I will say this, I was talking to one of my friends today on my way to CVS. I had asked her if she had any experience with these, and she had said this color, she went into this color and another color, and said that they were amazing, and that the finish was in comparison to the Rockateur. Well, I love the Rockateur, you know, the Benefit Rockateur blush, so I looked at them, and I honestly picked this one up, and I put it down, and I picked it up, and I put it down, um a couple of times before I decided to, to go with it. And the main reason why I decided to pick it up was because at CVS today, or through, I don't know, through the end of the week, I don't know, they're offering $3 extra rewards cash back on anything from Maybelline $10 and over. So um, I was picking up a couple other things while I was there from the Maybelline line, which I'll show you here in a minute. And I picked it up and I'm so glad I did. Um, there, I was going to get two. I was going to get this color and like the corally one, but I wanted to try it out first and see if I liked it before I bought another one, if that makes sense. So here it is and it is gorgeous. I'm wearing it today and I will tell you this, I am obsessed. Um, 
most of the colors didn't really speak to me in a sense that I felt like it was something that I needed to have every color of. So I do really want the corally one and I thought about getting like a lighter bronze one just for the summer to throw on my cheeks when I'm a little more tan just for an easy look. So I'm really, really loving those and I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, even though I shouldn't have. The next two items I'll talk to you about is, is, are from Maybelline and this is um, these are the, the Vivids. Now, I know these aren't new by any means. I actually, when they came out last spring, didn't buy any of them, which sucks because they bet they were on my, my shopping list for weeks and weeks and weeks. Two and shades. Actually, three. I lied. Um, I bought one, like, a, was it a couple weeks ago? Because... I have a collab coming up and I needed to do some research, so that was the main reason why I purchased these. <laughs> so I got two colors. I got Shocking Coral, Shocking Coral and Hot Plum, and the other one that I got, sorry I won't swatch, it's, it's in my purse because I love it. I actually talked about it on Instagram a few days ago, so if you're interested to see what it looks like, go to my Instagram and check it out. It is brazen, so hot, I have Shocking Coral, Hot Plum, and then the third color that I have is Brazen Mary, and I love these. I love the way they smell, I love the way they apply, I love the way they wear. Um, I know you're probably thinking, okay, do we really need to see one more makeup product that's pink or coral? And yes, because spring is coming. It's not here yet, but it will be. And when it's here, I want to be ready because I love, love, love these colors. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I am not afraid to rock a bright lip in the dead of winter. So... Love them. Keeping with the lipstick trend, this is the CoverGirl. What are these called? They're like the CoverGirl something. They're, they come in. This is a CoverGirl lipstick, and it's in this packaging. I don't know the, what the line is, but whatever. Um, and this is in the shade 325 Spellbound. And let me tell you, girls and guys, if you're watching, you have to have this. I mean, this is amazing. Look how freaking stunning that is. Yes, it's pretty similar to Hot Plum, but this is definitely, um, this is more plummy and this is definitely more more pink. So pick it up, it is gorgeous. I, I wore it before, I actually put it over what I'm wearing now before I turned the camera on just because I couldn't get enough of it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I am so freaking glad that I have it. Love it. The last um, lip product I have, um, this is the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Sweet Grapefruit. I, whose video was I watching? I believe it was Lip Gloss Leslie. If you don't subscribe to her, you should go check her out. I'll leave her link below because she is so sweet, and she just has amazing reviews. One of the girls that I go to for reviews because she's just so, her thoughts are just very well presented and she gives a cohesive review. I know sometimes when I'm talking about something, I tend to leave out a lot of things. Not mostly the things like, like I don't particularly care about, but she just does a very good job of leaving an overall um, cohesive review. So if you're interested in reviews, check out her channel. She also posts other kind of videos and they're all amazing. She's got quite a few, but I was particularly drawn, John, drawn to Sweet Grapefruit. Again, it's coral. It's right at my actually um, buy one, get one 50% off. So I did get one for myself and then one for my friends. So yeah. Okay. I know I went kind of crazy with blush and lipstick, but Girl's gotta have her standards, right? Item I wanna talk to you about is this um, Skin Cognito Stick Foundation. This is from Flower Beauty, and before you go crazy and say, wait a second, girl, that color does not match your skin tone. I know. Um, I got this specifically for contouring. Um, now, like I said, the whole fresh face, glowy, youthful, dewy look is so in for the spring and I wanted to kind of, when, I, when I'm using like a cream blush, um, I want to, to use a cream brown. I was telling, um, I think it was, was I talking to Kristen about it? I think I was talking to Kristen about this particularly and I said I was really enjoying the stick foundation for contouring that I thought I might pick up one in that matches my sh my skin tone to use because it's really amazing it blends great and it 
it's creamy, it blends really great, um, and I just found that it was pretty long wearing. So I'm ex thinking I'm going to pick up one of those. I'm going through this skincare journey that I keep referring to. I want to make sure um, that I want to make sure that I'm giving, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm giving my skin a rest when it needs it. And so on non-filming days, I want something a little more lightweight. So I thought this would be really cool, not this color, but if I got one in my shade to just kind of, you know, cross on the forehead, you know, maybe a little kitten whiskers here and a little on the chin and then buff it out with a buffing brush or my beauty blender and call it a day and then use that as my bronzer and then a cream blush and be completely done. So, um... I am going to give that a go. Uh, I'm pretty positive. So look out for that. Um, if you're interested in seeing kind of like a cream foundation routine and blush-ish look, let me know because I'd be happy to throw together kind of all cream products and present that to you guys. Um, I know that for me, and I mean I have like experience with makeup, that it can be a little intimidating. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I'd be happy to do that and I might just do it anyway for review's sake. The next item I got was this Physician's Formula. This is the eyeshadow quad. Um, I'm wearing it today and this is in the, sh in the Canyon, Canyon Classics. My friend uh, Marina told me that CVS was having $5 off all Physician's Formula and this came out to be $2.49 and I have been eyeing this up literally for the better part of a year. So when I heard that, I was like, Mama's headed to CVS, and if they have the other colors, I'm picking them up for me, and I'm picking them up for her. Sadly, they only had this quad, but I'm obsessed, and I know my Walmart carries the full line, and I know that they'll price match. However, I don't know if they price match sales. So if you have an experience with that, let me know, because it might be worth looking into. But I'm loving that. And then the last makeup item I got was this nude wear. This is the Physicians Formula nude, nude wear. This is supposed to be the light bronzer. I saw somebody use this in a to or get ready with me, and it looked gorgeous as a bronzer. But I will say this, guys. No. For me, absolutely not. I mean, no. So I'm going to have to use this as a highlighter, which I don't mind because when I, um, I, I, I struggle with highlighters from the drugstore that I really like. So I'm going to use this and play around with it. And to be honest, I was telling my friend Bonnie that, because I got one for her too, um, that we were talking about it and I swatched it and I, because we were excited about the bronzer factor. And I swatched it and I said, girl, I'm probably going to have to return these because a bronzer they are not. So we were talking about it and I swatched it more and I said, you know, it's, it's more like a highlight. And I said, and really, you could probably use this in the same way that you would use the ambient lighting powders. So I'll try it, play around with it. I mean, it was $5 off, so I think I paid like $7, which for a drugstore hi highlighter, so the light doesn't even show up on me. So if you're fair and you're looking at this product for a bronzer, I would just skip this one and go right to the medium because you're not going to be happy with this as a bronzer. But as a highlight, gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to try it with all over powder. So that's it for makeup products. But again, you guys, I picked it up, picked them up all month. Well, not all month. You know, I picked things, a couple things up here and then most of the stuff, not most of it, but anyway. So for me, that's amazing. I don't have one high end item and I'm pretty pleased with myself. And like I said, all of that stuff was either buy one get one 50% off on sale or um, I had a 20% off coupon. So if you're not paying full price, I don't think it should count on your no buy. The last set of items that I have um, are nail care. Now I'm not, like I've said before, nails are like probably the least beauty thing that I'm good at. And I just don't pay a lot of attention to it because by the time I sit down to paint my nails, I think to myself, the 75 other things I could be doing at the moment, and then now I've just locked myself down for doing nothing until my nails are completely dry. So I've kind of lacked in that, but I, I need to do better because I'm constantly, you know, swatching things, pointing out things, and who wants to see jacked up nails? I don't. So 
I don't want them to be distracting or sticking out like a sore thumb, so I promise I'm going to be better at it. And in order to be better at it, I needed some tools. So, first and foremost, I picked up a cuticle pusher. Is that what they're called? I don't know. And a nipper. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. So, um, I'm going to start doing my own manicures at home. And I thought, you know what better way to do it? Let's trim up the cuticles. Let's make them look pretty and go for the gusto. So I'm excited about those. Um, I also picked up this, and I've never heard anything about this. I'm sure people have talked about it before, but I don't know. I was looking for a cuticle cream, and because I'm cheap, or I mean, I'm not cheap because I do spend money on stuff, but like stuff like this, I'm not really into spending a lot of money on. <laughs> so um, with that being said, this is Healthy Hoof. It comes in a little jar like this. Here's what it looks like. And basically, it says that it is um, inten it's an intensive protein treatment. Trainer's choice. So what it says on the back here that it's used by horse trainers. So my question is, do horses like, or do equestrians use these on their hands or on the horse's hooves? If you know anything about horses, let me know. You massage, you can massage this cream into your nails and cuticles to nourish and moisturize. So I thought, why not? My cuticles this time of year are just dry and crusty. And so, ew, that sounds so bad. But yeah, so I thought I'd give that a go. And then I had heard about this Orly Bonder. It's a rubberized base coat. Basically, it's a rubberized base coat that grips the lacquer to your nail surface, which I guess is supposed to prevent the color from wearing off for two weeks. I'll try anything if it, if it promises to last up to two weeks. So I got this as a base coat, and then I wanted a top coat. I'm currently using, and I don't have it with me, it's like a Sally Hansen strengthening top coat, which I mean, I don't mind it, but I don't think it does anything for like helping with the wear and the dry time of my nails. So I was talking again to my friend Marina because she knows everything. <laughs> um, and we were, she was showing me something with her nail polish and I was like, what is that top coat? And she says, it's out the door. And I had heard about out the door, but like I said, I'm not a big nail person. So when someone talks about nails or nail polish, other than like the color drawing in, I'm kind of just like whoosh out oh, like over my head. Let's see what that bronzer is. You know, I just, whatever. So this is a top coat for nails. And she says it's amazing that you, like it's a, it's a really good top coat, but it dries super quickly. So I'm interested in trying that. And then the last item I got because I was out was this regular nail polish remover with the twist and lock pump. Um, I'm super excited about the pump top. I can leave it on my vanity and, you know, pump and go. Oh my god, that sounded like a breast pump. Oof. It twists and it locks. I let my child, like, run amok in my house, but sometimes she sneaks away and gets into things. And I'm not saying that she gets into, like, things she shouldn't, but, I mean, let's face it, she does. I just liked the fact that I could twist it and lock it and that she wouldn't be able to, like, get into it if she saw it. But I, I usually don't... I don't want you to think I let my child, like, run loose and I don't pay attention to her because I totally do, but... I'm just saying, if for some reason, because she likes to hop up in my vanity and look in the mirror and play with pretties, I don't want her to grab it and be like, ooh, and then think she should drink it. That's what I bought in February. Some of you are probably like, ah, really? Get a grip on life, girl. Get a grip. But you know what? This is a grip for me because of all the things I could have purchased and all the things I've wanted and all of the spring lines that have been released, I have not got one thing. And I will tell you this, yes, I did buy these things, but I will say each and every time that I went, that I actually purchased these items, I had like quite a bit else in either my cart or my basket and I edited it. You didn't watch my update from last month, watch that and watch it and, compare, and then compare it to this video and you will see that I really dialed it down and reined it in. Um, and I'm really proud of myself. So that's my creepy cat. So yes, if you're watching this, you're like, girl, you did not rein it in. Go watch my January update and you will say, bravo, girl, bravo. And that's just, I'm just trying to be better. And if each month I can improve, that's all I can ask for. I went into it saying I'm not going to buy anything, which really was probably an unrealistic goal for somebody like myself. I probably should have said, 
here's a budget, try and stick to the budget versus <laughs> don't buy anything. Because the minute that you say don't buy anything, all you want to do is buy, buy, buy. Bye, bye, bye. Love and Anyway, guys, that's what I bought. <laughs> um... If you are on a no buy, leave a comment below and let me know how you're doing because as you can see, fail again for the second month in a row. But I'm going to say it's a half fail and a half victory because I didn't spend nearly as much. And everything was on sale and I used with the coupon, so boom. Anyway, you guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.